Welcome to the first lesson of the Operational Risk Management Series. The ORM Lesson Series will provide an overview of the ORM five-step process and five short videos. During this lesson, Naval Safety Center experts will walk you through the basic actions taken to identify hazards. You have control of the pace of the lesson. Feel free to pause, rewind, or rewatch the lesson as needed. Let's get started. Step one, identify hazards. We'll go through the operational analysis, we'll list hazards, and then we'll determine root causes. For identifying hazards, the first thing we want to do is the operational analysis. We want to take a look at what our mission is, and then take that mission and break it down to bite-sized chunks so that we can accurately identify the hazards that are associated with each step. The things you want to make sure that you do is involve the operators, the people that are actually doing the task, and your subject matter experts. You want to list it in the sequence or functional areas, and you want to prioritize some of those significant events. For us, we're going to use the example of the drive to work. The first thing you want to do is walk out. You want to check your car for readiness. Most of us just make sure the car is sitting level and doesn't have any flat tires or it's not out of gas or something like that. So you get in your car, you start it up, you back it out of your garage or you enter your street, you follow your routine drive to work, you adjust any contingencies, and if you're in, like, in most fleet concentration areas, it means you'll have to hit your brakes quite a bit, and then you park at your proper position at work. So that's kind of the operational analysis. The next step is we want to list the hazards for each of those sub-steps. So take your subject matter experts, start breaking down, and you can use reports that your command might have. You can check the Safety Center's website for any uh, reports that are out there. And you can also use the JList or NList, which is the Joint Lessons Learned website and the Navy Lessons Learned website to see if there's any uh, lessons learned or best practices that are already out there and also consult your instructions. So you're listing your hazards. The first part of that is your preliminary hazard analysis. You want to brainstorm the hazards for that step and then we'll go into the what-if tool and then the change analysis. So for us we've identified you know following our prescribed route to work, hey we got some routine traffic hazards, maybe there are potholes, maybe there's uh, road maintenance. Uh, some other things you might want to consider is the distance, uh, curves, adjusted contingencies, you know, you might have a flat tire, uh, your route may, uh, may be blocked due to construction, and then when you get to work uh, parking at your prop position, maybe uh, somebody's already got that spot and you'll have to adjust to that. So that's the, the next step, and then we want to determine the root cause. After you list your possible hazards, you know, brainstorm the root cause of each one. You know, kind of ask the why question five times. If you're talking uh, with your young child and ask them why they put their toy down the toilet, the, the first time they may say, I don't know, and the second time they may say, I don't know, and finally the third or fourth time you might get to the right answer of, of why they did that. So if you can determine the root cause, uh, walking through this process, you will, uh, you will be able to identify the risk and as we go through the process, put the right mitigation controls in place. Some things that you want also want to consider when you determine the root cause is stress, complex evolutions, hazards, um, sometimes the feeling of invincibility if you're younger, sometimes uh, the smartest guy in the room if you're older, um, new technology, and the one we see a lot out in the fleet is complacency. So we've taken the routine traffic hazards going to work, uh, you know, road work, weather, accident, maybe uh, some crazy drivers out there. You know, if you drove a truck instead of a car to work, do you have to worry about clearances if you're going into bridges and things like that? So the what if tool, you want to ask yourself, hey, what if I have a uh, a certain kind of problem. What if uh, the car catches fire? What if uh, you're driving along in traffic and everything just shuts off? What if uh, there's a major accident and you have to detour around it? 
What happens when you're when you when things change to your plan? You know, what if the weather uh, causes you to go in a different direction, or maybe you're you're stuck at home and you can't get out? You know, what uh, what happens to you, your ability to complete that mission at that time? So just some things to think about as you're going through this process. So you want to do the operational analysis. You want to list the hazards and then you want to determine the root cause to be able to identify those hazards properly. Before moving on to the second lesson of the series, review OPNAV Instruction 3500.39 Enclosure 1, Section 8A, and rewatch the lesson if needed.